as long as I can remember, uh, the goal, uh, Harold's goal was to be able to establish a foundation and to do, as I said in his words, noble good. And it was in his upbringing, as it was in mine, uh, we're Jewish and inherent in, the, in Judaism is, of course, uh, charity. It's the cultural feature of our community which has made living in Portland so attractive to so many young people across the country. The obligation is on all of us in the private sector. Okay, if it's mission critical to have scholarship funds at Portland State so there's not one student that can't attend, then that obligation is on all of us to help do what private universities have had to do since their inception and that is give back to those quality institutions like Portland State so they can build and thrive and offer the opportunity to every young person that wants to go there. Jordan has a great appreciation of what creativity and art making can bring to a child's life as well as an adult's life. Uh, it is learning a process of creative thinking, whether the person is a child or an adult, that person can then transfer that to anything that they're doing in their lives. He sees it not only um, as uh, kind of an admiration for the art, artist themselves, the creator, the abilities of that person to create an object that draws his emotions out, but, but he also is very, very dedicated to um, providing access to kids to art and how it can transform his, their lives his, as it did his life. Arlene and her family have made a major impact in many aspects of this institution. I've had the good fortune of being able to work with Arlene very closely during the development of OHSU's Center for Women's Health as well as uh, Harold Snitzer Diabetes Health Center. I think the source is a burning and compelling belief that one should give back. It's uh, giving back is a, is a passion for Arlene. It feels like I've never not know, known Arlene. Um, she has been an incredible mentor to me on numerous ways and numerous occasions. And, and um, it's not unlike her to pick up the phone and tell me I need to look into something and thinking, oh, I don't have this, I don't have time to do that. And then it becomes my life. And I'm very proud of Portland State. I've watched it grow since it was Vanport. And to watch it develop and grow, to have known all the, the presidents that have come along the pike, uh, has really been a great thrill for me. And uh, so I, I, and I attended a few classes there, so I'm very proud to see what, what has happened and what it means to our community. The key is providing more scholarship funds so there isn't one child left behind. Okay? So there isn't one child that wants to go to Portland State, okay? one young person the can't through scholarship programs afford to go there. The education of our young people is the single most important factor towards the success of this country in the future. And the future is amazing. The plans to add several thousand more residential units, the new academic buildings, and recently the announced new Viking Pavilion will just offer so much more to all of us in the metropolitan area. So on behalf of my mother, my late father, and myself, Thank you, Portland State, for the honoring us with the Simon Benson Award. And go Vikes! <laughs>